Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Snookus, and we're going to continue on our European Renaissance campaign, Swedish Independence. As you can see, um, we're right on our way over to the Öresund here, and we're going to take out these rebels that are that are causing us some issues. Um, yep, yeah, that's great. And uh, last episode we um, finished the war with Denmark and France, even though we were barely an actor in that war. Um, Still not gonna take that either. We should take this before we take this, by the way. I'm gonna have to remember that. Um, which year is it? 94. And this, uh, the next institution doesn't fire until uh, 1500. So we have a few years to prepare for that. We, when do we get the next idea? Two tech levels. We could actually. I don't know if we can reach America in time, um, colonial um, range-wise, but we could try to um, uh, jump directly to exploration and try to force one of the institutions into us. Uh, well, force them to be um, formed in Sweden, basically. But I don't know. We'll uh, We'll think about it. Okay, so our army is over here now, soon they are at least. Let's take those out. Um, I'm gonna send my fleet to protect trade here in um, the Baltic Sea, I guess, because we don't have any trade income in Lübeck. Can I go home at war, simply as a precaution. Um, our other two boats aren't nearly finished yet, so that's not really an issue. Didn't look at that fight, but we won handily anyway, so not an issue. Right. Oh! Perfect! I totally forgot about that, but uh, exactly the time that we wanted to fire. Um, we're gonna convert to uh, uh, Protestantism right away, more or less. We're gonna lose all our prestige, not that we had a lot anyway, and we're gonna gain some ducats. And we're gonna gain some religious seal, uh, which is gonna compound with our leader's religious seal, which is gonna make it even better. And most important of all, we're gonna get a center of reformation, which is gonna make it a whole lot easier. Uh, so let's do it right away. So right away we get. Uh, a decision which we're not going to use because we're planning on increasing our stability. We're not going to use this either. Um, cool. This is um, going up still, but which, well, uh, predictably it, it should. Um, but we're going to have uh, have all of our our newly conquered provinces cored before that should be an issue. Okay, so no special favors. I'm not gonna lose some administrative tech when we, we're already behind. Accord Ingemarland. Uh, okay, so the Palatinate is actually, well, they're all with Austria. So even though Austria isn't the emperor anymore, in, if we were to attack some uh, minor province in the empire now, um, the Palatinate could still call in Austria, so the difference is marginal at best. England isn't um, a great power anymore, for some reason. I suppose Aragon surpassed them. And we're actually gaining on Aragon, so that's looking cool. Let's look at Portugal here. Uh, they have taken exploration expansion, so they're going hard on the colonial game, and so have Spain. So. Um, the colonial institution is pretty much guaranteed to um, uh, spring up over here in Iberia. Uh, and I just to make sure I'm not mistaken, yep, it's colonialism that's coming up next. Okay, uh, yep, sorry England, well, don't worry buddy, we're gonna take your spot soon. I suppose we shouldn't in, in, um, 
increase our relation with them, improve our relation with the two sons anymore. What are you mad about? Oh, the aggressive expansion. Okay. Um, fuck off, Palatinate. I'm gonna state this um, province. Even though it cost some administrative, it, it wasn't a lot, admittedly, but still. Um, simply because if we are dragged into a war with Novgorod or Moscovy, I don't want to be uh, to lose that core if we lose the province. Moral arm is perfect. Our king is looking real great right now. Perfect sellout, uh, sellout traits, which fitly, which which fit greatly uh, right in this moment when we're just converted, and moral of armies. Should also, which is also good. Uh, now we should look out for who the next Protestant nation is, because this can have a great effect on the future of, um, well, of Europe. Um, because we're most likely gonna be on the Protestant side of the um, Holy War. Um, so, depending on who the next nation is, could affect greatly um, the religious spread of Protestantism. Engl uh, France is very unlikely to um, um, convert by themselves. England does sometimes, so does Scotland. Hopefully it's someone in the center here. Even better if they are a bit more to the, to the left over here. So we can... Um, so France might get converted. Austria has paid off our foreign debt. That has never happened to me. Thanks, Austria. That's actually really cool. Um, okay, thanks. <laughs> I appreciate it. Damn. Okay. So there's two schools of thought on uh, which uh, priority you should um, convert all of your promises when you uh, change religion. One is to take the cheapest first and just... Um, Minimize the amount of provinces that can get revolt risk. The other one is take the most expensive first because when you lose your uh, little buff here, which I can show you, religious seal, those are the ones that's gonna take the most time. Uh, but I'm gonna take the cheapest ones um, so we can minimize the amount of provinces which will get revolt risks. I hope, I hope that's the best decision for us right now. I think it is, but you um, can never know. So just, um, just one more month, a month, and then we're um, going to be able to uh, increase our stability here. Great. Um, increase stability. Cool. And now we can take this one, which will give us more um, national income, national tax. We're gonna make um, Boislan to a state, and we're gonna core it. Cool, and now uh, Sweden is shaping up. Actually, we have all of modern Sweden and even more. Uh, religious. Should keep an eye on that so we don't waste any time. Uh, right, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Why are you so cranky? Religious unity, more exhaustion, intolerance. We should ship our ship our units back over here, so they're freely, so they're free to help if any revolts spring up, which they seem to be in in a few years' time. But still. Now, um, oh, crap, I don't want, I mean, the money's nice, but I'd rather have the, the revolt risk. Is there any chance we can um, do anything about that? No? Okay. Oh, well. How many? Okay, so the Swedish noble rebels would be an issue, but otherwise shouldn't be 
shouldn't be a worry. Um, Nerke, Östergötland and Helsingland. I forgot about this anyway. Um, let's see here. Nerke, Östergötland, Helsingland. Nerke, Helsingland. Let's focus on, let's focus on these then. Uh, let's lose some mer mercantilism. Trade isn't a big deal for Sweden anyway. Let's send these out to trade. Let's top out, uh, cap out our, uh, what's it called? Force limit, um, fleet force limit. Did please say that, yes, it seems like Brandenburg was the third country to convert to Protestantism, which means we're going to have a strong damn uh, Protestant alliance over here. Um, Brandenburg, well, they aren't a fan of us because of our conquest here in northern Germany, but uh, they don't have any grudge against us, which is the most important, really. They're not a rival or anything, so... Um, we can uh, probably count on them uh, on in the upcoming war. We're losing a lot of money, uh, which is somewhat to be expected. We uh, haven't mothballed any of our forts. We still uh, have... Well, we don't have any overextension anymore. Uh, hopefully we can re convert enough promises before this fires as well. This shouldn't be progressing anymore. It isn't, so... That's fine. I keep forgetting about this and I feel like an idiot for doing it. Okay, so Österbotten. I would appreciate it if our... Um, our um, Senator Reformation could uh, focus on Sweden. I'd rather not have a crisis in our nation. That's maybe, maybe that's just me. Oh, come on now. So let's, um, I forgot, I forgot to check our um, Catholic power before we Converted. That's on me. My bad. Hopefully you're not ripping your hair out over it. Um, so we're gonna take this, which will give us another leader, which, kill, which will give us cheaper advisors and stuff. So yeah, let's go with that. It's a bit more expensive with um, our corruption, but that's fine. Our corruption is actually costing us a bit over half a ducat every month. Also, I don't know if you've uh, seen this, but um, cool. Um, okay, let's see here. Obo. Um, Protestantism and the Church of um, the Protestants um, have a different church mechanic, which um, is based on this. You gain um, church power from different things and passively. And then you can choose up to three buffs, which are actually pretty pretty nice, which we're going to use as soon as we get enough. Okay, and this is one of the Swedish um, flavor text, flavor events, um, which you can read if you're interested. Anyway, we're going to need to lose prestige. I don't know why you would do that or lose some monarch points and... Um, gain a lot of development plus some autonomy change until 1821 which is nice so yeah let's take this it's gonna buff out buff up our nation quite a lot and we actually gain some diplo points from the queen as soon as we've gained a new idea group we're gonna switch over our focus to uh, diplo and then we're gonna take i think exploration Depending, we'll see.
How is this looking? We're just behind by um, 18. Um, 18. Uh, well, just below 20. Okay, so this might actually be our chance to lose our Dishonor John. Our crap air. So let's pray for his life. We gain some legitimacy and we actually got to keep him. Or? Yep, yeah, we did. Hmm. Oh well. It's not the end of the world if we um, get him to be our new... Uh, if he becomes a new monarch, but I'd rather not him be it. So, why are Finland so pissed at us? Rovemi. Rovaniemi. Just the usual. Church reduction, religious unity, intolerance. Okay. We lost our general, which is fine, it wasn't great anyway. That sounds bitter, but yeah. <laughs> um, okay. So this 2.9, 5.3, so let's focus on this. Bohuslan. Oh, it's already being converted. So no, any other really important ones? Nope. Okay, so let's go for Akieri instead then. Where are you? There. Cool. There we go. And yeah, hopefully in the future we're gonna move our um, trade, um, what's it called? Uh, main trading port down to somewhere over here, um, probably over here for historical sa sake, uh, since that's what Sweden did in real history. Let's lose a manpower, it's topped off anyway. And then we're gonna uh, dominate Liebeck and Baltic by um, default, really. And the North Sea, we're gonna have to contest with England and probably uh, France. No, probably not France, but. Um, uh, the Netherlands about and then we're gonna sh uh, funnel a lot of trade from America f uh, through the North Sea and into Liebeck. That's the plan. That's what you usually do anyway. Um, a new Lumi disaster. Yep, the Dacke War. Dacke. Dacke Hiet. Okay, so Moscow has rivaled us. Let's just rival them back. We still have over 50, so we get a bonus to all of our monarch points. Let's look at this. It doesn't say what progresses it, so we don't actually know. Anyway, this should be done soon. We're, we'll soon we'll, we will soon be over 50% religious unity, and then it's gonna slow down a bit, and then it's up to 75, and then 100, and that shouldn't be really be an issue. We should uh, knock that out of the park without much worry. Okay, so let's go with um, Jämtland. Lost an advisor. Okay, so if we could, um, I mean, no, we really shouldn't. Our revolts aren't a big worry, so we should focus on national national tax. I think instead of um, national arrest. Uh, I'm interested to see what the personal personality um, that our heir will get. If it's really shit, I'm gonna do pretty much all I can to disown, disown him. Do his name justice. Yeah, we're gonna... Sure, let him do what he wants. Okay, so you can see uh, Brandenburg is totally converted, so is um, Pomerania, which have taken back some of their promises. Cool. Fine. Great for them. 
Um, the Teutrons seem to be the next to be converted. Also, we got some miners over here, Bremen and Oldenburg. And um, yeah, m most of this area is probably gonna. Most of the Rhinelands is probably gonna be converted soon. Yeah, okay, so next area. Now it's time to go for the expensive ones before we lose our little buff from converting. And. Okay, so our king died. Um, unfortunately, but instead we got this awesome queen, and um, at least for three years before um, the heir takes over. So yeah, that's uh, unfortunate, but still um, lucky in its own way. Sure, England will uh, will take that. Who else is our ally? Just these two, all right. We have a free relation slot, which we could do something with. We should probably improve relation with the Livonians. <clears throat> Sorry. Oh, look at that. I've run over my time here. So let's end the episode here and um, let's see what we'll get up to next time. Please leave a like if you want to. And you like my videos and want to see more and stuff like that, you can always subscribe. I also saw this, so I should take a look at that later on. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye!